I'm Eddie Field. So you have a scroll saw and you need to replace the blade on it. Well, let's dive in. First thing you'll notice is this old Ryobi has a neat storage case. And it has both the tool and spare blades. First thing you have to do is you have to find out what kind of scroll saw you have. Because there's newer models that have a T-shank on the top and the bottom. Whereas this old Ryobi doesn't have a T-shank. It just simply tightens down with a set screw. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now you see this set screw there, and here's a set screw up here. Loosen that, tighten that. I'm going to send it down from the top first. And I'm going to have it with the teeth facing down. And it goes in that groove right in there. Then once, once it's in the top groove and tightened down and in the bottom groove, then we tighten the bottom. Now what you can do, this deck is, has a miter cut, so I can actually swing the deck up out of the way. And now you can see better. Hmm, look at that. That's pretty loose. Put that back on zero. Then once you have the blade attached, this model has a tensioner that really ratchets down on that and gets that blade tight. We pull on. And this is variable speed. To see how to use a scroll saw, click the link here. Man, I just love this scroll saw. For more helpful tips like this one, click the image on your screen now.